Yep. We are live. Hey, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Curly Boston. Happy St. Patrick's Day weekend. I'm bringing the luck with my good old shamrock shirt that I only bust out once a year. I'm here at Cafe Neuro, Neuro in Dedham, and I'm here with my buddy Jeff Carter, who's the head of marketing. And the Cafe Neuro has been nominated for the best cafe in the 2019 Best of Purely Boston Award. So, Jeff, thanks for having me, Thank man. Thank you, man. Happy Thank to be here. Thanks, thanks for the espresso. Thanks for loading me up, getting me all jacked up. And we'll be bouncing around this place. Happy like St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Yeah, so happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Um, so we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about uh, Cafe Nero, all the cool things that they're doing over here. Um, there is how many locations are there? In 27? So they have 27 locations all throughout the Boston area. I'm sure you guys have been to one or have walked by one. They're doing some pretty amazing stuff. So um, let's get right into it. Yeah, absolutely. So let's, um, let's, let's talk about um, how did Cafe Nero first get started? So, Cafe Nero, our founder, Jared Ford, yep. uh, started the company over 20 years ago, back in 1997. Jerry grew up, uh, Jerry's in California, okay. grew up spending summers in Italy as a, as a youngster, as a college student, and he fell in love with the Italian coffee scene. Yeah. He just was, he was inspired by the coffee house experience, and he fell in love with that. And his vision was to really create that premium European coffee house atmosphere and, and bring it to people. Yeah. people in Europe and eventually to people in the US. Yeah. And he's obviously he's achieved that. And you know, he loved the fact that you know we were about coffee, premium coffee, but the cafes are about a place for people to meet and to talk. And that's a big part of the brand. It's providing people place to come and meet and enjoy the coffee. Yeah. I personally love Cafe Nero. It's my favorite. I'm not just saying this because, you know, we're on camera right now in uh, their cafe, but um, my early days of uh, building Curly Boston, I spent a lot of time at Cafe Nero. You can use your Wi-Fi, so thank you for that. You're welcome. But I just want to say, like, how inviting uh, all the Cafe Nero's are, uh, whether they're a smaller one, maybe it's South Boston, or, you know, a uh, big one, the flagship one like this. And, uh, that we're at now. They're all so inviting, the yeah. decor is just amazing, and they're so cozy and, and warm and inviting. It's an important fabric of the brand. Obviously, you know, excellent quality coffee, excellent food, but the atmosphere is, I think, an important uh, distinction yeah. that really separates us from you know, some of the other some of the other brands. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So does the the founder does he does he um, does he live in the United States? He's in Europe. Or is he in Europe? Okay. Okay. He's over here quite a bit. Awesome. He's over here every couple months. Uh, yeah, leading leading charge in the U.S. as well uh, as JJ Teal, yeah. who's our U.S. director. Cool. So we see Jerry quite a bit. Awesome. Uh, so, what do you think? Really sets you guys because I'm you know we're boss we're up here in Boston our, our Bostonians we love our coffee we love our iced coffee lattes espresso what do you think really sets you guys apart from all the other coffee shops especially the chains we won't mention any we'll names. mention the chains I <laughs> know who you are um, what what really sets you guys apart you yeah you I think, think you know it's, it's a coffee culture yeah and Ooh, I like that I'll I'll give, I like that I'll give you a couple examples. Every barista that works behind the bar goes through a, a rigorous training um, curriculum where they learn about coffee, what coffee is, how to make coffee, how to prepare coffee, how to serve coffee. It's a rigorous program that you know, when they get behind the bar, they know what they're doing. And forgetting about the, the baristas, everyone who works at Cafe Nero works behind the bar. So my first two weeks at the market, I was working behind really? the bar. Wow. It, it doesn't matter how, what level you are, you're working behind the bar. Again, yeah, it's about understanding coffee, understanding the customer yeah. experience. And I think that translates into just a better coffee experience for the customer. Yeah. In addition to that, you know, I think a, a big differentiator is that we own our own roastery. So Say that again? We own our own coffee, but we roast our own oh, coffee. Okay. So we yeah. own our own roastery. So we source our coffee, we blend it, we roast it. So every cup of coffee we have, in Cafe Nero, we roasted those beans, wow. and, and that's an important distinction. Again, it's about maintaining the, 
quality, make, making sure that it's done correctly and up to our high standards. Yeah. So there's a lot of, lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of blood, yeah. sweat, and tears going into the every, every drop of coffee. Absolutely. 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 And I like it how you mentioned uh, all the baristas kind of start, what starts, like, you know, you're head of marketing now, a very successful uh, brand in the world. Boston and nationwide, but you, everyone started at the same spot. So I mean, you could probably have jokes. With, oh, I remember, you know, maybe oh, give them a, yeah. point, a couple pointers. Long, no, actually, we're here in Dedham. I, yeah. I worked. This was one of the places I worked. Oh, okay. And it was it was grueling. I went home. Yeah, you, I typically go to the gym after work. Yeah, I went right to bed after work. Yeah, because I was so tired. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. difficult job. But again, you know, we teach our priests about coffee, and, and they they're passionate yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those are the things we look for. Awesome. That's that's awesome. So you guys heard it here, you know that you know that I mean, that's kind of a cool little uh, tidbit that you know all the baristas start uh, and go through a, such a rigorous uh, curriculum. Very rigorous, yeah. I know we met in one of the back rooms, training the training rooms yeah. and stuff. And there's literally like there's all cups out and there's the, the machines out and it's uh, yeah, coffee yes. school. Coffee yeah. school. Absolutely. That, that's a class you won't find at BU. You want to attend? I, I would love to. Okay. I would love to. <laughs> Sign me up. Put me in, professor. <laughs> so let's uh, so let's talk let's talk about uh, all the great stuff you guys are known for here. So what are the most popular items on the menu? Let's start with uh, the coffee. coffee yeah, drink definitely our stuff. espresso. Okay, our espresso based beverages, and lattes, uh, the cappuccinos, for big uh, so Yep, that's what we're known for. I know you got your quad espresso. Yeah, I, did. I know I got a quad Four espresso. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's eyes almost popped out of his head when I asked for a quad espresso. So the, the espresso is really what leads the charge and people come and ask for that. Uh, as far as food, you know, we have lots of bakery items, croissants, uh, we have breakfast sandwiches, we have lunch items as well. So we have sandwiches for lunch, uh, we have salads in certain locations. Really a wide base. It's not just breakfast, it's breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. You really can find something you know, throughout the day to satisfy you in addition to getting your, your coffee fix. So I know where us Bostonians are starting to think more spring thoughts. So what what's your most popular uh, like iced uh, drink? Ice latte. Ice latte. Yeah, ice latte. Like I think the number one. Yeah. yeah. Straight or, or vanilla. Yeah, I think that's the go-to ice beverage. The standards it, always win. It also cold brew. Our cold brew is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is probably actually a bigger seller than the ice latte. Cool. Um, we sell a lot of cold brew. Uh, you know, it's, it's the energy that keeps yeah, yeah, we're going all day. Yeah, yeah, I love a good cold brew on a hot summer day. Um, okay, cool. So here's a little fun question I like to ask all the 2019 nominees in this year's contest. So if you could share a coffee with somebody from the Boston area, who would it be and why? And I asked, what question did I ask you? When? Oh, you said you said <laughs> living or deceased. So I'm gonna. So I was at our Brighton Center Cafe. Yesterday, and I, and I was talking to the manager. And he went to the back room, and he came back out, and he showed me this framed picture, vintage, of Ted Williams. It's all stuck. It's a Hall of Fame induction. So Ted Williams is top of mind for me right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Ted Williams. Uh, obviously, excellent baseball player, yeah. but a true patriot, did a lot for his country. And I read that he loves likes good coffee. There you go. So I would love to sit down with him. Yeah, we'll share an espresso. Maybe we'll have to go to his grave and pour out a <laughs> pour out an espresso shot. You can talk about the socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's some fun. Awesome. All right. That's a great. That's a great pick. I, I, I like that answer. Uh, so, any big plans for Cafe Nero for 2019? Yeah. So on the on the product front, so next month in April, uh, we're launching a few different things. Uh, we have a new avocado BLT sandwich Ooh, that we're wow. excited about. Right. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to be launching our new matcha line. So okay. a nice ginger lime matcha oh, okay. as well as a matcha latte. Ooh, that sounds that'll good. be exciting. And then on the coffee front, we'll be introducing our new single origin coffee. Okay. So the plan is every few months we will launch a, a different single origin coffee. That's what cool. so we're kicking off with, with, Peru, with the Peru one, which is a That's nice awesome. sort of berry free flavor yep. um, coffee. We're excited about that. Cool. That's awesome. And that'll kick off next month? April 2nd. Yeah. Um, cool. Our spring program. And then um, so for everyone watching, so um, I know the hours vary, but you know, if you wanted to shoot out some different locations that everyone can visit. 
um, in the Boston area. Yeah. Cafe Nero. I mean, we're Central Square. Yeah. Uh, Center Plaza. We're downtown crossing. We're here in Dedham. There's right in Southie. There's one in Southie in South Broadway. Boston, yeah. South End. Is there one at Assembly Grove? There is one at Assembly, Assembly Grove. Looking further north, we're up in Reading, we're up in Andover. Uh, they're all, all over. over. And we just opened in Darien, Connecticut. Uh, back oh, in really? December. It's got the first cafe outside of the Boston area. Okay. We opened in, in December. So if you're down in Connecticut, uh, definitely stop by. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, that's going to wrap up today's Spotlight interview. Um, Cafe Nero still needs your nomination vote, so keep going to the official awards website that's at bestofpurelyboston.com. Keep nominating these guys for the best cafe and to get uh, for all your coffee, espresso, latte, cold brew, uh, pastry needs, make sure you uh, visit Cafe Nero. Make sure you tell a barista if you saw this interview and they might have a special uh, treat for you. Think you can do something for us? All right, so make sure you uh, mention this interview, say you saw me and Jeff hanging out in Purely Boston. And uh, that's it. Everyone have a great Friday. Everyone have a happy St. Patrick's Day. And we'll see you later. See you later. Bye, Boston. Bye, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day.